In today's video, I am going to explain anatomy around fast rib. This place is very important because this is kind of intersection among cervical spines, cervical spines, thoracic spines, and rib cage. Think about it. Where is fast rib coming from? That is from T1, right? Thoracic spine number one. Above T1, what's there? There is C7, cervical spines. See? Rib cage. Rib cage is from thoracic spines. Above thoracic spines, there is cervical spines. Thus, this area is freaking important for cervical spines, thoracic spines, and rib cage. Then, there are many muscle tissues, nervous tissues, blood vessels, and there is connection to inside of thorax. This area is freaking interesting. Let me explain what kind of muscles are around fast rib. There are numerous amounts of muscles around rib cage. I want to focus on three muscles. First one, actually two. There are two important muscles on lateral part of neck. This one is anterior scaling. Anterior scaling. This one is middle scaling. Middle scaling. Let's go to next one. This is subclavius. Subclavius. Why am I talking about these three muscles? Because when these three muscles get tight, that can be cause for pain around rib cage and clavicle. This is famous symptom. This is thoracic outlet syndrome. Thoracic outlet syndrome anterior scaling, middle scaling, and subclavius. Now, how come? How come these muscles can induce thoracic outlet syndrome? Okay, some tissues are added. You see a lot of yellow tissues around clavicle, neck, and armpit, right? This is brachial plexus. Brachial plexus. Plexus means bundle of nerves. You literally see bundle of nerves on neck and shoulder. Brachial plexus passes between anterior scaling and middle scaling. It's a little bit hard to see. Imagine. Brachial plexus passes between anterior scaling and middle scaling. This space is originally very narrow. In normal condition, it's very narrow. Then, what's gonna happen if either one or both of them gets tight? That decreases space for brachial plexus. That means there can be compression. Nervous tissue hates compression. I mean, it gives huge effect for nervous tissue if it's compressed. Imagine that if you try to compress ulnar nerve or medial part of elbow, it's painful. So tightness of scaling can create pain around here. What's the name of this symptom? Thoracic outlet syndrome, yay. Scaling can induce thoracic outlet syndrome. How about subclavius? Subclavius is here. It's far away from brachial plexus. It's here. They are running here. Look at attachment of subclavius. It attaches to first rib and clavicle. When subclavius contracts, let's say this way, that brings clavicle down. That depresses clavicle. So, it kind of shuts down space posterior to clavicle. 
this space, what's there? What kind of tissues are running posterior from clavicle? Brachial plexus. So it's like scaling space. The clavicle space is originally narrow. It's very um, compacted area. Then what's going to happen if subclavius lowers down clavicle? Space of clavicle becomes even narrower. Again, there is chance for compression around this area. Again, nervous tissue hates compression. That may create pain and numbness. What's that? That is thoracic outlet syndrome. See, now you understand relationship among scaling, subclavius, and brachial plexus. See, this area is freaking important. Every single tissue is related for other tissues. Let's talk about the other aspect of relationship around this area. You see this light purple color inside of thorax. This is pleura. Pleura is membrane around lung. So this is membrane inside of thorax. And of course, there's pleura around first rib. This is like a roof of ribcage, right? The most superior part of ribcage, first rib. Makes sense. Then, anterior scaling again. Anterior scaling is freaking close to pleura. Some people consider there is myofascial connection between anterior scaling and pleura. I think it's quite true. When I do myofascial release for scaling, some people feel relieved for breathing. Some people feel relieved for thorax. So I believe, I believe there is connection between scaling and pleura. Huh. I talked about relationship of muscles, nervous tissues, and membrane inside of the thorax. Let me add one more structure. You see new tissues. You now see red tissue and blue tissue. Red one is of course artery. Blue one is vein. This artery is big artery. This is subclavian artery. Subclavian artery. Blue one is subclavian vein. Subclavian vein. Let me talk about subclavian artery first. This artery is from inside of chest. Of course, it's from heart. Then it comes out from thorax. It goes to neck, it goes to shoulder, it goes to chest. This artery penetrates one space. What's that? That's between anterior scaling and middle scaling. What kind of tissues are penetrating between this space as well? Brachial plexus. Subclavian artery and brachial plexus pass between anterior scaling and middle scaling. Again, what's gonna happen if scaling gets tight? That may compress brachial plexus and subclavian artery. If brachial plexus is compressed, that can be caused for pain and numbness. What happens if artery is compressed? Maybe blood flow is diminished. What's gonna happen? The oxygen and nutrition doesn't go to a related structure, such as shoulder, chest, axilla, arm, forearm, right? Thus, tension of scaling is important for nervous tissue and blood vessel. On the other hand, subclavian vein doesn't penetrate between scaling, but runs anterior from anterior scaling. So this uh, relationship somehow, so if scaling gets tight, maybe subclavian vein blood flow can be diminished. You know, furthermore, Clavicle has more important relationship with subclavian vein. 
because subclavian vein passes posterior to clavicle. If subclavius gets tight, that lowers down clavicle, that pinches vein here. Of course, nervous tissue and artery. See? This area is so, so important. In this video, I explained anatomy around first rib. This place is kind of intersection among cervical spines, thoracic spines, and thorax. Plus, there are so many tissues are running around this area. Muscle tissues, nervous tissues, membrane of lung is close to first rib. Then, artery and veins are running around here. This place is so critical for upper extremity. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.